Hey guitar playing champions, grab your guitar. We're gonna have some fun together today in this video. I'm about to show you some cool, crazy two string sweep picking arpeggios that sound great and are excellent little exercises to help you develop your guitar speed when sweeping on the guitar. Now, if you're new to sweep picking, this probably isn't the video for you, but the one you should check out is another video I have on YouTube called Beginner's Guide, How to Sweep Pick the Right Way. Go check out that video. Now, if you are familiar with sweep picking, you know what to do, you're in the right space, grab that guitar, and let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is basically it's just an A minor pentatonic scale. That one. What we're playing across uh, the fretboard here on the middle two strings. So we're just going to start on uh, the D string, fret number two, that E note, and we're going to sweep across. We're going to hit that note with the downstroke then continue the downstroke to the next string, like this. And then repeat that note with an upstroke. So it's second fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, second fret. And we're just gonna repeat that pattern. Then we're gonna shift up to the next position, do the same basic thing. Then up to the next position of A minor pentatonic. Then the next position. Then the next. Then the next. And then the final one here. So all together. Now, when you look at the notation, it appears that we're doing two downstrokes in a row and then two upstrokes in a row and repeating that pattern. But that's not really what's happening because we're sweeping. So it's really one big downstroke that covers two strings. Okay, it's one continuous motion, not down and then down again. It's one motion down, and we're going covering two strings, then one motion up. So you just push your hand forward and then you pull your hand back, okay? Now, most of these shapes basically are like a power chord shape here, okay? So it's a power chord here, power chord here, and here. And here. But when we start off down here at the second fret and fifth fret, it's not a power chord shape. It's not this. It's this. It's one, it's one additional fret higher. Same thing here. But all the rest are the basic power chord shape. And that's how you play the two string sweeps through the minor pentatonic scale in this example. Let's take a look at example number two. This is in G major. So basically what we have here is we're kind of outlining a, a chord here, G major. So we're starting on the D, I'm sorry, the, on the D note, uh, fret, three, string two. So we're doing the finger roll technique here. Using the first finger for both of those strings. Now we don't want a bar, we don't want this. So you gotta roll your finger over. Then. So that's the first part. Then we move up to what is basically an A minor arpeggio. With 
with the ninth. Technically, it would be A minor add nine. Then we move up here. This is essentially B minor with a flat nine. Then C major. Then D major. Then E minor. Then we've got F sharp diminished. Then finally G major. And we're just finishing it off there on the G chord. So it sounds really cool when we kind of outline all the chords in G major from G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, and then G major again, going through the two string sweeping arpeggios. And just remember that our goal here is to try to separate the notes and avoid this. So we have to pick the fingers up. So when I go to string from string two, to string one, this finger needs to release. Otherwise, we have this. And that's really not the sound we're looking for here. Get the idea? So we want to pick up the fingers and have the notes be separated as much as you can. So in several of the arpeggios that I just showed you, the two string sweeps here, we have the finger rolling technique that's gonna be necessary. So anytime that you have to use the same finger on two different strings at the same fret, we wanna use the finger rolling technique. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I've got another video on YouTube called Sweep Picking Lesson finger rolling arpeggios. Go check out that video if you need help with how to do the rolling motion when sweeping through arpeggios. Our next example is going to alternate between E minor and C major. Okay, so risk we're doing this. That's E minor with our ninth, of course, added. And then C major. That note would be the sharp 11th of the C major chord. And then we repeat from the beginning. So it's a very cool exercise. You can use it in solos or songs or whatever, but it's a really good technique builder to develop the two string sweeping guitar technique. This is a really good exercise. Before we get into our final example, I've got another video on YouTube called Sweep Picking Tutorial, Fast Two String Arpeggios. And that video will help you to gain the speed on these two string sweeping arpeggios. So go check that out. If, you, if you're interested. Now, last example, let's check this one out. So a little faster, it'll sound like this. It's a really cool sound, and basically all we're doing here is we are moving the lowest note, the bass note, down chromatically. So the lowest note for each uh, section is going to go like this. Chromatically. And the other notes stay the same. So when we put it together, it's like this. Now we're going to move the lowest note down while keeping the higher notes where they are. Okay. 
Then we're going to take the lowest note and move it down again. Move it down again. Down one more time. And then we'll finish it off to end on that nice G major sound. It's a very cool exercise. It sounds cool. It's pretty melodic. You can certainly use that in songs or solos. It's a very great, great, cool sound. To learn how to turn any arpeggio that you know into dozens of highly creative sweep picking licks, even if you can't sweep pick fast yet, check out my guide to playing endless killer arpeggio licks. It's totally free. Download your copy at the link below. In that resource that's free to you, I'm gonna give you 25 examples of cool arpeggio variations created from one single arpeggio, and that will help you to jumpstart your creativity and inspire you to create dozens more variations yourself. I'll also share with you five ways to use contour shift to turn any arpeggio into a totally killer lick. And then I'm gonna show you why inserting unexpected rests can be the easiest way to add fire to your arpeggios. I'll also show you how to use slides, tremolo picking, vibrato, and other phrasing nuances to make any arpeggio sound awesome without changing any of the notes at all. And finally, how to creatively add other notes to standard arpeggios that you probably already know to drastically change their sound and make them way more fun to play. So again, download the free copy at the link below. You'll be glad that you did.